look at that trailer. Be safe out there, man. No, I'm not holding my phone with my hand. It's on top of my head. But anyways, you guys, welcome back to the channel. Stay loaded trucking. If you're new, subscribe, please, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 2,000 followers. All right, subscribe right now. But anyways, yeah, we left the yard this morning. It's Sunday. Right now it's 9 p.m., but we left the yard this morning around 1 p.m. And we're heading up to Kent, Washington. Uh, we... Should be there around right now it's saying 2 20 a.m but i'm thinking more like three after i have to fuel because i might stop in portland to fuel up well actually i am gonna stop there at the jubits and yeah i mean i haven't really i haven't really been recording all day just because there's been nothing to record we got a load that we picked up i think friday so the load was or thursday and the load just sat in the yard until today, which is Sunday. So it sat for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It sat for like two, three days. So yeah, tomorrow I'm hoping we got a really good ping. Like it was good, good ping, you know? They've been paying pretty good, but it could help out if tomorrow we can find a load coming back from Washington all the way to Northern California. That'll help out a lot because it is very difficult finding loads back. You, you could get them, but you're gonna get them cheap. And uh, the few times that I've been coming up here, I have been able to find a load, but, and I think we should, because we're gonna get unloaded early. We're gonna get unloaded at 5 a.m. By the time they, well, that's our appointment time. And by the time we're unloaded, it's gonna be six, so we should have plenty of time to find a load. Hopefully, we'll see, I don't know. Man, just ran into some traffic over here in Oregon. I'm about 80 miles away from Portland. It is 34 minutes backed up. Great. Gotta love the traffic. Right now I'm going about three miles per hour. Just got done putting fuel. Put the mud flap out. So we made it here to our delivery. We are all backed in. Uh, it's 3 a.m. right now, but our point, they don't open until four, so we're just gonna have to wait an hour. All right, so we just go in to go check in and they're gonna start loading us up or unloading us. Yeah, so this morning we did deliver in Kent, Washington, but we didn't get there last night until like, what, three in the morning? So we didn't reset this morning until, well, this, today until 1 p.m. and uh, pretty much I was super super tired I didn't sleep in I slept in until like 3 because I could not get up and by that time I didn't have like I couldn't even get up to find loads like I was just exhausted but I already have another load pre book pick, picking up in Northern California so I can't stay out here and like get a load going back so it kind of sucks plus I did kind of get up a little bit just to see but there was nothing like I said it's really hard to get loads out here you have to be up super early and kind of you kind of have to be empty because a lot of times they ask oh are you empty and yeah so um we're on our way back to northern california we're gonna go home if we're i don't know yet because right now it's saying we're gonna be there at 4 30 a.m back to the house and then by the time we reset tomorrow it's gonna be like two or whatnot but we do have to pick up in sacramento so i'll probably just go straight there and then just wait until I reset and then probably go to the house for a little bit. Freshen up and yeah, we have to come back up to Washington again. But yeah, man, not, not a lot going on. So this vlog might be boring and just cause I, I'm pretty much gonna be working nights this whole week. Pretty much how you start your week is how, is how you end it or how it's gonna be. If you start off working early mornings, you're probably gonna work early mornings. If you're gonna start off working nights you're probably that whole week you're probably gonna end up working Tuesday nights. around 5 30 p.m and we are here in Corning California we stopped at the McDonald's to get us something to eat and drink um yeah uh we picked up a load today in north in Sacramento so northern California 
and we're gonna be delivering this load to Portland, Oregon and Kent, Washington. It's funny because all last week I spent my whole week pretty much in Southern California and then it looks like this week I'll be in Northern California a lot in like Oregon and Washington, but a lot of Northern California. Honestly, something really got me thinking today. So I saw this subscriber say something about in the top. I saw this subscriber say something about a couple loads back, I had this load of mattresses, like old mattresses. And I picked it up in Southern California and took it to Washington. But I heard someone say, what if all, like those mattresses have bed bugs or something? And it got me thinking, what if they're in my trailer? So they said like to fumigate it or something like that. But yeah, I doubt there is, but I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it either. So I don't know. It just got me thinking. I wonder if that could actually happen. But yes, this load is going to Portland, Oregon and Washington. It's a two dropper, but really I'm not going to take it myself. I'm gonna meet up with my brother somewhere in, I think it's called Malpin, Oregon, something like that. And we're gonna switch trailers there. And then I'm gonna pick up a load in that city tomorrow morning and he's gonna take off, deliver to Portland tomorrow. And then he has a really, really early appointment Thursday at 4 a.m. So that's the plan. Uh, I know he probably wanted to stop by the house, but that's not gonna happen sadly for him because it's just the way things work out. It's crazy because for me, it's always different. Every week is different. I know some of you guys just run Southern California and that's pretty much it. Some of you guys just do Southern California or all of California. Uh, some of you guys go all over the states. I, I don't do that. Uh, some of you guys do West Coast to East Coast. I don't do that. I just pretty much go up and down the I-5, California, Oregon, and Washington. Some weeks I miss, I may spend more time in California. Other weeks I, miss, I may spend more time in Washington or Oregon. I don't know. It's just You just never know. I kind of just chase the money in those states. And yeah, some weeks I might just be local in Northern California. So yeah, just the way I run, if you guys were wondering. But if you're a trucker, man, you guys need to get your guys the McDonald's app. Only because I know a lot of you guys eat unhealthy anyways, just like me, so. A lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh, McDonald's unhealthy, don't eat there. Yeah, but so is gas station food and uh, all that. So I might as well get the McDonald's app and you can get a lot of cheap stuff on there, a lot of rewards, a lot of good deals. And when you go to McDonald's, when you go to the computer thing, type in the code, get a good deal, and then pay for it and then type in your code again. If you know what I'm talking about, you, you can get another good deal and you can get a lot of like free things. Or you can get a coffee like this for a dollar, 99 cents. It's not even a dollar, it's 99 cents. So even if you go to the truck stop and get truck stop coffee, that's running you at least for a large buy, like $3. And then if you go to Starbucks, that's running you at least $7. So you can't beat it. You can't beat it. Just can't. I didn't want to get an energy drink today because I had one the past two days. So yeah, and today is not gonna be that long of a drive. We got, wait, damn, we only got four hours, but really today was like maybe like a seven hour day or seven hour drive, so. Something I'm not used to because I tend to do about 11 hour days. Plus, because you have a 14 hour day, 14 hour shift, so. Yeah, pretty much every day I'm running my clock all the way down. There's never a day where I only drive like six hours, seven hours. Besides today, which is like seven hours. Yeah, so pretty much this weekend I didn't have a lot of time off. I pretty much just had half. I got home Friday like around uh, 6 p.m. Had the rest of that day off and then had all of Saturday off. Saturday I just watched the UFC fights. Uh, we got a new champion, Bilal Muhammad, which no one saw coming. And then uh, Patty the Batty beat Bobby Green, which is kind of funny because I actually met the fighter, the UFC fighter, Patty Pimplet. His name is Patty the Batty. And um, in December, I went and I went to a UFC event and I saw him walking into a CVS. So me and my buddies, we were at the CVS. We were 
buying some, you know, we're buying some white claws to take back to the hotel so we can pregame for later that night for the UFC event. And uh, we saw three guys walking, and then one of my buddies noticed that a guy had like cauliflower ear, and he's like, "Wait, is that Patty the Batty?" And I was like, "I, I don't know," because he had a hood on. And the people look way different in person, I feel like. And uh, so yeah, this other guy that was right there too, he's like, I think that is. So my buddy went up to him and asked him for a picture and he got one. And then me and my other buddy, we went up to him, asked him for a picture and uh, pretty much he was just shopping for cereal because he was hungry. Hungry, he was trying to get, gain weight back because you know they have to lose a lot of weight and yeah, it's just crazy. Because he gets pretty fat. So yeah, we saw him buying cereal and he let us take a picture with him. It was pretty cool, but he's gonna be big in the UFC watch, so that picture's gonna be worse. Man, y'all won't believe what just happened. So I'm chilling here, and then I kind of move up a little bit, and my seatbelt breaks. Look at that, it's gone. Look it. So I know one of these was already off. Like, you see how it has two lines. This one with the tape was already kind of off. This one was still on and I don't know. I just, I think over time it just got loose and then broke. So now I can't wear a seatbelt. I'm gonna have to try to fix it 